a question came up in the forum by someone who was asking what is an algebraizer, uh, which means what is a SQL Server algebraizer? And there were a lot of different kinds of responses. Uh, it's not about right or wrong. Uh, those responses were kind of a little uh, inappropriate. So I thought, why not record this uh, quick video and talk about the algebraizer? Now, disclaimer, uh, my response is not going to be perfect either because there's a lot of theory and architecture involved uh, in you know dealing with SQL Server Optimizer and uh, my answer is not going to be perfect either because I have read a lot about these things over the years and I'm just trying to uh, quickly summarize uh, with this uh, short video. When uh, SQL Server receives a transact SQL code as a request, the first component that comes into picture is the parser. Uh, the parser will parse the uh, T-SQL uh, code uh, and basically it is checking the syntactical correctness of the code and if everything is all good and is syntactically correct the parser produces what what is called as a parsed tree uh, which is an internal representation that the uh, optimizer can understand so after the parser it goes to the next phase and this next phase is called as uh, algebraizer and after the algebraizer phase is over then the query goes into optimization uh, phase. So let's uh, take a step back and come uh, to this algebraizer, which is really the question uh, was. And algebraizer, if I remember uh, correctly, has five different uh, steps. So there is uh, operator flattening, uh, name resolution, uh, type derivation, aggregate binding, and uh, group binding. Uh, these are the five different things that happen uh, in the algebraizer. And in summary, uh, what algebraizer really does is uh, uh, checks for all the uh, objects and the names and uh, does the name resolution against the system catalog, uh, the, the table names, the column names, and even uh, the data types that are being used in the uh, T-SQL code. And uh, for example, the uh, group and aggregate binding. So your group by clause, does that make sense uh, in accordance with the uh, uh, columns that you have put in the select list? And the uh, aggregates implementation with the aggregate binding. So some of these things are done by the algebraizer. I also read that uh, algebraizer was a component that uh, was introduced in SQL Server 2005. It is a successor to uh, another component called the normalizer, which uh, was used by SQL Server versions prior to SQL Server 2005. So this is uh, uh, this video is just in response to uh, you know those uh, discussions that I was seeing around uh, algebraizer, and I truly respect and appreciate that there, there are many more people in the community that will know a lot more about algebraizer, and uh, it will be great to see someone uh, talk more about algebraizer in depth. But uh, till then, uh, hope this information was useful. Do subscribe uh, to the channel and share the video with your uh, friends and colleagues if you uh, like it. Uh, talk to you soon in, in another video soon.